welcome to H2Meet 2024. I'm your host, Katie. H2Meet stands for Mobility, Energy, Environment, and Technology. So that means that today we'll be able to see lots of companies with really innovative technologies. Also, we'll be able to see a lot of very innovative um, alternative technologies and um, alternative energy sources, especially with a big focus of hi on hydrogen energy, since this is also the World Hydrogen Expo. So as you can see, there are already a lot of people coming. We're here at Kintex near Seoul. There are a lot of people, so let's head in and meet our first interview partners. Let's go. So this is our next interview partner. Hi, you are from Greenlight Innovation, is I that am, correct? That's correct, yes. 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 Tell us about your company. Sure, thank you very much. So my name's Greg Walsh. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer here at Greenlight Innovation. We're visiting here at H2Meet from, uh, from Canada, from Vancouver, oh, nice. Canada, where we're located. Uh, we are a company of 300 people. We're the world leader in the supply of testing equipment for electrolyzer and fuel cell. Uh, so we don't make fuel cells and electrolyzers, but we provide our customers with the technology they need to develop those fuel cells and electrolyzers. So uh, we distribute our equipment all over the world. We supply globally. Most of the equipment gets exported outside of Canada, uh, including many here to Korea. So Korea is a big market for us and we're happy to be here for that. Nice. What's your biggest advantage? Ah, okay. Well, certainly the global support. We are a global company, as I mentioned. We export globally. We have partners for sales and service. Uh, our, our product is very well known for its uh, quality and reliability, and a lot of our customers uh, do enjoy our customer support that we can provide globally as well as uh, the software, uh, which is quite user-friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you said you're a global company. Do you already have a lot of customers here in Korea? We sure do. Um, obviously, Hyundai being the big automotive company oh. here, we, we sell a lot to the uh, to the automotive space globally, uh, but a lot of the, the supply chain within this industry, so the catalyst companies, membrane companies, anyone developing components for fuel cells and electrolyzers, as well as the stack OEMs, integrators, uh, automotive OEMs, of course. There's uh, government research facilities here in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, as well as academia, so universities that use our equipment. Yeah, so quite a number of customers. Yeah. So since you provide testing equipment, what do you see companies struggling with the most? Uh, well, these days, uh, I think probably the, the infrastructure. Uh, so we are seeing now a shift in the industry from uh, the consumption of hydrogen in the form of fuel cells mm -hmm. to the production of hydrogen uh, with with electrolysis. So I think a lot of the on the consumption side, the fuel cell suppliers are really waiting, I guess, for the infrastructure to be installed. Yeah. Luckily, we have seen a shift in recent years towards this uh, supply side of the the industry. So a lot of money, investment money, is now going behind hydrogen production and, of course, the infrastructure that goes with it. So hopefully that will lead to this change uh, and, and build up the infrastructure to support uh, the fuel cells. Awesome. Then last question, what are your future plans? Future plans. Well, we continue to grow uh, in this region and others. Uh, certainly we're following the customer base, trying to understand what their their requirements are for testing. We've been developing our product, uh, increasing in the product platform. We already have uh, quite a robust product line, which we're continuing to advance. Currently, most of our research and development is going into the electrolyzer, as mm -hmm. that is where the industry has gone. Uh, so most of our R&D is following that. So future plans would include uh, a more robust offering of test equipment for electrolysis and a lot of focus on software and diagnostics techniques. So failure modes, uh, diagnostics at the stack testing level. So that's uh, a little bit technical, but in a nutshell, that's what we're up to. Awesome. Thanks for the explanation. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye. All right.